Chasing subscribers, likes and followers is not necessarily the most profitable use of your time as a business owner or ambitious employee. Still, somehow, many of us can easily find ourselves fixated on our own likability or questionable lack thereof. While playing the likable game and seeking to gain popularity may not be the first class ticket to success, you may need to pay attention to the research on likability to access your position as an industry leader. Does it matter? Should we be so concerned about the admiration of others? Or is it just one big likability trap? This and more we will uncover in today's episode. Whether you're investigating how to enhance your personal brand or career potential, today's episode will provide you with validated factors behind showcasing your personality through your communication. I'm Dr. Sarah Lobigeiger, Dara Rodriguez, an international executive speaking consultant, opera singer, and the founder of Cadenza. Enchanté. By the way, if you're new to our channel, welcome. Remember to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, remember to like this video, leave your comments below, and let me know what you think. First, let's get clear on what likability is. Likability relates to the degree by which you're perceived as friendly, nice, polite, and pleasant to be around. Most of us chase a positive reinforcement because it's more desirable than aversion, hate, and disgust. It's not uncommon for humans to strive to be liked for the best part of our lives. Life places us in front of a wide assortment of people with a spectrum of personality types, preferences, and behaviors, especially at work and in business. Early in the playground, we discover that it's much easier to be liked than spurned. Even the magnanimous hire public relations experts to get on the front pages of glossy magazines, celebrities seek out image consultants and personal stylists, and brands pay considerable dollars to maintain a likable reputation. On the Cadenza website, you can find an article with some advisable communication tactics you can incorporate around likability. If you want to enhance your personal brand or career potential, this article will provide you with validated factors for likability, so be sure to check the article out. You'll also find a likability test that you can take on our webpage as well to gain more insight into how likability is measured. Be sure to check it out. But now let's get further into our episode. Does likability matter more than competence at work and in business? Will your success be determined by likability or competence? Both traits have an integral role in how persuasive you are. Consider for a moment brand influencers whose earnings arise from brand partnerships that lead to follower purchasing behavior. Influencers create a direct trust bridge to purchase using likability and attention as the springboard. This works and continues to work because likability is the dominant element when influencing other people. From the influencer model, we can quickly realize that successful influencers are not liked by everyone. Instead, an influencer only needs to be liked enough to create sufficient buying behavior that brands are willing to sponsor. Universal likability is not possible, but you can naturally deduce that the more likable you are to your target, the more you can persuade them, creating a robust platform for your persona, no matter how competent you are. On the other hand, competence takes time to prove. A track record of consistent behavior at a high standard wins trust, but likability fast tracks trust, often existing at face value. Likability is clearly worthwhile to gain influence, but is it authentic? If you strive to be too likable, Will you lose authenticity? Maybe you're wondering if the quest for likability makes you a plastic person. So let's take a moment to consider authenticity. Authentic communicators are perceived to demonstrate self-awareness, openness to disclose aspects of themselves. 
they also operate consistently within their visible code of ethics and morals. An authentic person is known so because they don't try to mask their persona to gain a reputation. Maybe you're wondering if there are any skills and traits you can work towards to have a positive influence on the people around you without altering your daily personality according to who you're speaking with. Are there any concrete behaviours you can demonstrate that humans generally prefer? Today, we will uncover five traits and skills to consider that trigger likability and how you can use them authentically and ethically to gain persuasive impact. Trait number one is similarity. People tend to like people who are similar to them. Research by Seffold et al. 2010 found that people select their friends based on mutuality, choosing friends who share a similar degree of openness, agreeableness and extroversion as themselves. Coming back to authenticity, if you present yourself without a mask, chances are similar people will most likely like you and those dissimilar won't. Similarity can come down to the most innocuous things like sharing the same hometown, enjoying the same hobby or more complex matters such as a preference for a similar interaction style, shared values, goals or a matching humour. Instead of trying to mould yourself to everyone around you, that's ingratiation, build rapport and find common ground where you can with the diverse mix of people you need to work with or do business with. Focus on the meaningful attributes for healthy professional relationships, solid values, civil behaviour, shared respect and invest in learning strategies to expand your emotional intelligence especially if you're a leader. As a word of caution, remember, you'll be more likely to favour people who look, dress and interact as you do. Watch for similarity and know the risks of positive bias which can impact your judgement. Take care as a leader that you don't cramp vision and reduce creativity by associating with only people who remind you of yourself. It may seem easier to work with people like you, but homogenous teams stifle innovation, underperform and impede growth compared to diverse teams. Factor number two is attractiveness. Your presentation, facial symmetry and visual demeanor will impact the degree of likability that you hold. And there's a higher chance your contact will like you, succumb to your influence and even agree with you if they find you aesthetically pleasing. Working on your look is one of the fastest ways to build influence and executive presence. It's a fact. People are watching you and how you dress, move your body and even smile send signals that either back up your impact or make you look less likeable. But remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But also take care. As a word of caution, if you find someone attractive, you're more likely to be influenced by them purely based on appearance. Safeguard your critical thinking skills by getting data on the person's competence, ethics and integrity, as studies suggest visuals easily sway us. Likewise, be sure to do due diligence to look your best, not to be shallow or disingenuous, but because it can set you up for success and provide the opportunity to gain trust to allow your contact to start to recognise you and learn more about your competence skills and value offer. Factor number three is charisma. Speakers who showcase high levels of charisma, a measurable trait, tend to be better liked by their contacts, employees and audience. Charisma has been shown to raise ratings of affability and persuasion. Charisma also determines factors like a leader's impact, followers' compliance and even sales measures. Counterwise, People are rarely charismatic if they are not likeable. Research has increasingly uncovered that charismatic leadership is a trainable skill. 
Charisma is a tactic that you can integrate into your communication. And the best approach to take is to mindfully embed each interaction with charisma strategies. You can find an expert article on our website about how to increase your charisma. Head to the link on the screen or check the description box below to access the article. Trait number four is speaking in a clear and rhythmic manner. The way you speak can also harness likability. Listeners prefer speakers with a clear and consistent speech pace. In fact, eloquent and precise delivery styles tend to create a stronger emotional connection with a conversation partner. The pace of your speech, the speed and clarity, will directly correlate to how competent and persuasive people find you. You can improve the degree by which your speech flows and connects to achieve eloquent fluency. This involves applying concrete speech techniques to optimize and clarify your self-regulation, message preparation, and word finding skills, even when nervous. Executive communication sessions at Cadenza assist you in enhancing your voice tone, inflection, and delivery using principles from speech science and performance to harness speaking fluency so that you can increase listener ease, eliminate mumbling, and fast track polished authority and influence. To number five is compliments and gifts. Compliments boost likability and persuasion, almost doubling the likelihood of persuading someone into doing a favor due to the increased likability factor. In addition, people are less likely to do you a favor if you don't compliment them. Gift giving also functions along a similar vein. Overall, with these five traits covered today, one can question, is it really a likability trap or is this just a clue to expand our interpersonal skill set? It's pertinent to be aware of the power someone can have over our decisions through their likable influence. One of the best ways to gain personal influence, be more aware of the influence others may have unknowingly over you, is to get savvy about perceiving likability traits. Knowing more about the research into personality, influence, charisma, and human behavior can be a helpful way to launch your branding campaign, gain brand impact in the public marketplace, and can even provide an enhanced experience for your customers. There are huge advantages to raising your self-awareness and interpersonal skills when speaking in critical and high pressure situations. It can all but fast track your career or business growth goals, lift your profile, and establish the way you showcase your skills, expertise, and value through an impeccable, likable, authentic communication style. Executive communication consultations at Cadenza are designed to offer validated research-based training that is practical and transformational. Designed for CEOs, founders, and leaders, our extensive tricks are not only research-backed, but also work to sharpen your communication agility drastically. So people not only listen to what you say, but also take action. You can find more details about our services in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found the tips helpful and applicable to your executive communication goals and organization. Please let me know what other topics you'd like to hear about in the future in the comments section below, and I'll be mindful to incorporate your suggestions into new videos for you. See you soon. Thanks for watching and ciao for now. Doors have opened to my comprehensive professional speaking audit for increasing your confidence while communicating at work. The High Performance Communication Audit gets you total clarity on the concrete tools you need to sound like an executive fast. So stop feeling anxious or frustrated about what you need to do for your company to finally offer you a leadership position and instead, Learn how to work on your communication with concrete, science-backed goals that get real results. Head to my website to learn more.